Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. In this video, I am going to show you on how to reset an auto number in Microsoft Access. Let me show you my sample guys. This prot ID is an auto number. For example, let's try Mango. So as you can see guys, automatically the number 6 is added. And what if we're going to delete the record number 1 and number 2? Let's delete that one. And then, um, number 5. So this is the data. 3, 4, 6. And what if guys, we want to reset so that the number of root ID will start to 1, 2, and 3. So, all you have to do, guys, is to save it first. And then, let's go to the sign view. And by the way, guys, if you uh, if you have a lots of data, and then if you, are, if you are not sure about this, make sure to create a backup of your table. Now, let us continue. So, for this prot ID, this is an auto number. Let us copy-paste this. Then, paste. And this one also, make it a auto number and then delete the original yes and then put it in the first line and view guys data sheet view here we go guys as you can see the number of fraud's id is reseated from one two and three so let us add the data Kalamansi. Okay. It's an auto number. And what if, guys, you want to delete all this data and then the number also will start to 1? So, let's try. Delete all data. And close also this one. So, in this case, guys, you have to create a backup by copy paste. Copy. And then it's okay. So, this one, let's go to the design view, then fraud ID, also auto number, delete this, sorry, and then put it in the first line. Okay. Let us close it first and then close this plots and then let's rename it to the original plots so now let us start our data guys let us see if it is reseated to one for example mango okay next is orange next is calamansi so this is the method guys of resetting a table auto number table in microsoft access so i think this is enough guys and if you have some questions you know what to do you can just comment it down below and i will try my best to answer that one and also if you are new to this channel and wants to learn more about microsoft access then consider guys please consider subscribing this channel for more videos that's all thank you and see you to my next video